יעקב רובינשטיין, ניזר אל חטר, שלום. שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. We are sitting here in Jaffa, a few days before you take off for Zagreb, Croatia. And we were wondering, what for? What's the occasion? I'm taking part in, uh, it, the whole thing is Jewish week in Croatia and I have some concerts with my Klezmer group and uh, I have two concerts like this and they also organized a classical music concert and I was asked uh, who I would like to play with and then I asked a good friend of mine, Sarah Meltzer from the promoter, uh, artist promoter and she recommended Nizar here, which uh, I haven't met before. So now we met uh, about one week ago and we rehearsed now in Israel. We will continue rehearsing in, in Zagreb. And we're going to play on the 27th of November, a special concert there, for which I will get a very special violin as well. It's called the King of Guarneri. It's one of the most famous and probably most expensive violins in the world. It belongs to the Croatian Academy for Science and, uh, and Arts and I get it for this concert so we will have to go there for rehearsing and this is what we are going to do so on the 27th it's our concert and there's a big program with uh, many uh, classical music pieces with uh, Mozart, Brahms, we play Thais, uh, Meditation, and also some uh, Jewish classical music, which I love personally very much. We play uh, Ernst Bloch, uh, Baal Shem Suite, and we play Schindler's List, and a few smaller things as well. So this is a special occasion that we met for the going for in Croatia. Wow, thank you, Kobe. Sounds really wonderful, especially the great and rare honor with this special violin. And now we switch to Nizar. Nizar, how do you feel about this journey coming up? Oh, I feel wonderful, especially because I'm playing uh, uh, with uh, Bobby, who is a really wonderful violinist, and uh, I'm really enjoying every moment I play with him. And, uh, I feel very good. Excellent. And this will be your first cooperation uh, and, hope, and hopefully more, many more will follow. And what is interesting about both of you gentlemen is that you are both accomplished classical soloists, one with his violin, the other with his piano, and yet you are very curious when it comes to trying new things. Nizar, maybe a few words about your very busy musical schedule. Okay. I think it's because the audience... Um, um, actually, when I finished the Rubin Academy last year, uh, I, uh, and I wanted to do recitals here in Israel, so uh, I, I saw that the audience uh, like uh, other kinds of music and uh, not just uh, the classical. So I thought to take, uh, um, uh, for example, Majda, Majda Rumi and uh, Fairuz music. And uh, me and uh, another uh, friends, uh, we, uh, now we are uh, some uh, kind of group and we play together uh, this kind of music. And between the pieces, between the uh, songs, we put uh, the classical music. This is amazing. You yeah. know, you can describe it as fusion, and you can even say confusion. <laughs> but sounds wonderful. Yeah. It really and who is the singer? The singer uh, called uh, Sonia Masoud. She's from Ramle. She's, uh, she has a wonderful voice. And uh, now we are working together uh, to get better and better. Wonderful, wonderful. Kobi, uh, we almost met in Oslo, almost, because it was about two years ago when you started with your uh, Klezmer, uh, is it a trio? Uh, yes, it is. 
it's a very interesting combination. In our website it says it could be a joke or even in the worst case a war declaration because we have Israeli, <laughs> we have a Christian, we have Muslim playing there from Bosnia, from Croatia. But this is exactly what we are so happy about. It. For us the music is the most important, this is what we do together. Which is also here, of course, the case. And it's the same with my Klezmer group. Music as a cultural bridge? As a cultural bridge, as a way to communicate between people, between ourselves as musicians and with the audience, no matter where in the world, what religious, what background. I think it, it's really possible, and we believe we live it on an everyday basis. I mean, it's not just some. Uh, you are the living proof of that, with, with the wonderful music. I, you create together. I like to just enjoy, you know, the things that I do, and I do enjoy them. Uh, I don't try to prove anything to anyone. We just do music and we love it. It's even better. Uh, in our uh, Klezma group, the Rubenstein Klezma project, we do actually also kind of fusion because we have uh, Klezma music and we do also Latino songs and uh, much Balkan music as well. And we, they sometimes separately, sometimes we put it in some way together, all these uh, styles. And, I mean, as I said, each one brings something from himself, from his culture, from his tradition, and we just put it together and we love it, we enjoy it. And you are touring all over Europe, all over the world? Uh, yes, we, we had the concert in, in Spain this year. We are playing now in Croatia, as I said, in Zagreb. We have concerts coming up in, the, in Norway in December and we have our new CD coming uh, on the March of January. The, the hey, first congratulations. Project. It's, it it's will really be your cool. first? It's the first hey. one, yeah. And it, it will be called uh, uh, Fiddler on the Road. And yes, we also play Fiddler on the Roof in this one. Please register our order for a copy. I will. <laughs> With pleasure. Yeah, exciting. And Nizar, you told me just before we started this uh, conversation that the Israeli public, keen on classical music, will get a chance to listen to you in the Negev, in Sdeboker, in December? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, in uh, 16, uh, we're going to play two concerts there. Uh, the first one will be, like uh, I told you before, uh, the program with the uh, Majda Rumi and Fairuz, and between them the... Classical uh, music, and uh, after that uh, we will play the uh, uh, Saint Sans uh, Second Piano Concerto in Chicago. Wow! Uh, yeah. Excellent, excellent. Sounds very interesting. We'll try to be there. Uh, what can we wish you, gentlemen, for the future? I would like to wish. Uh, Everybody and Inshallah, as we say. Inshallah. Kobe? I agree with us, absolutely. So for me, myself, for us, I think the best thing we could wish is uh, that we just continue playing and enjoying music. And I hope it will get uh, through to as much people as possible. And, you know, they should take it from there. They can do what they believe with it. Uh, but you cannot believe in bad things if you love music, if you really enjoy music. If you do music together with, with people, with musicians, with friends, I hope, I just wish we continue doing this. This is the most beautiful thing. Gentlemen, we wish you all that and much more. Thank you very much. Have a good trip. Don't Thank forget you. to update your Facebook pages so we can update ours. Toda Shalom. Thank you.